on the baby deer. It's injured. Can you get up, baby? We saw a little baby deer on the side of the road. Oh my gosh, that little guy can't get up. He can't walk. He could be eaten by coyotes or something. We needed to help this little wild animal. Uh, it's a baby, it's super innocent. Hey, baby. Oh. Okay, I want to try setting him down, see if he can. Good. Right, face him that way. Good. I hope he can still walk. Oh, he's, he can't put any weight on his back. Hey, you want to walk over here, baby? Come over. Come on, right here. I don't know how to call a deer. Oh, oh, oh. oh baby. It's okay. My best guess would be that a car just bumped the deer, uh, and in doing so, dislocating its back, right hip, so that way it couldn't stand up or move or anything. Take him to a place where he can heal. He's okay. He's getting comfy. Sleeping baby. We took it home for a little bit because the animal shelter didn't open until morning time. Just building it like a little place to sleep. We named the deer Arthur. Beautiful. And it was definitely a very wholesome experience seeing it in the garage in like a little sleeping pen. First it kind of was very afraid, um, very timid. And then we started feeding Arthur some food. Uh, started giving him some water. I think he realized after about an hour or two that, okay, they don't actually want to eat me, so I'm safe. And then he started to like warm up to us a little bit. It was actually really cute. <laughs> Good morning. A couple days after we had dropped the deer off, they had gotten it back to full health and helped uh, heal his right hip. And so they actually sent us a video of them reintroducing him to his native habitat where he just walked off into the hills.